Sparks of Slash 4x4, Gremlin, level 2 upgrade. Alright guys, and here we have the Techno RC drive shaft. Um, I already cut it open, but uh, let's see what's inside. We have the drive shaft itself. It says Techno RC or www.technorc.com on one side. And Techno RC on the other side. And the thing with these is they're fully like metal. But if like that one, it's just it's hollow inside. And they can bend very easily. These it's very sturdy. So we have in here the hardware or the end pieces. Um come on. We also have some spacers, washers, and a grub screw. And then a Techno RC sticker. So, before we get too far into this, let's take apart the car. Um, I'm gonna go with the rear and take off this screw right here and this screw right there. Put it upside down. I'm going to take out uh, that screw right there, and that screw right there. Okay, now with that off, <clears throat> um, I'm also going to take off the front, and as you can see, I have the four screws removed. So then, um, and then you also remove the screw that right there that holds the steering bell cranks to the servo arm. Um, <clears throat> so now what we need is this. But um, actually what I'm going to do is be replacing this with a uh, center diff. But anyways. You move back rub screw in there. It's a uh, 2.0. Um, and then in front, you move that grub screw in there. I'll be right back. And as you can see, I got the center to file. But you take out that piece and take out that screw. Or a grub screw, and I pull out that. <coughs> now you don't need those. That's obviously what these are for. Now we need the shorter one, this one, and it goes into the front. And they give you this grub screw. Oh no, I'm sorry. Um. Oh yeah, I'm right. This grub screw thing. Um, <clears throat> and then two of these go inside there. Uh, come on. Just want to press that. There we go. All right. Now that you got two of those washers in, <clears throat> you, seriously, <laughs> anyways, um, you take it so that one of the holes is in there, just like that. And then you remove, you need to put that washer back in and then install this screw using a 2.0 size hex. Okay, with that installed, next you take this piece and take your gear and find the flat side and find a hole 
and just stick it on. Just like that. And then, you also use 2.0 size tags and put that screw in. Or cut screw. Okay, now that out. And you take out your old drive shaft. And take it. Chuck it across the room. Next, if, you, if your band fell out, uh, just, uh, reinstall it, yeah, any day would be nice now, there we go, and then what you do is, uh, take this, oops, my bad, what you actually should do is take this off the piece, put the gear in, um, and then put it on. And, yeah. Alright, now that like that, just hook it up. Just like that. Um, then what you do is put on the front end, reattaching those four screws, and I'll come back when I'm done with that. I'm not to say back end, but you get the point. So I got the back end hooked up, and I got the drive shaft, <clears throat> and I put the front end on. Um, I could not get it on film because I had to get into a really weird position. It was very hard because I learned further down the road that I should put the front end on <clears throat> um, with that piece on from the drive shaft kit. Put the drive shaft in. Um, and then put on the rear end, but it was so weird doing it. Um, but yeah, that's that. Got it all done. And here's before. And here is after. No wobble. Very good. <clears throat> I would suggest getting this upgrade. I really do think it's a good idea. It would be very hard to bend <clears throat> the drive shaft. Um, yeah. And that was Gremlins Level 2 Upgrade.